Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the void. I'm player one, and welcome back to Professor Layton and the diabolical box that is quite diabolical. Last time we did some story, so I only find it apt to do some more Wi Fi puzzles. And that is what we are doing. Because, even though I said we'll do it like all throughout the playthrough, we still got so, so many left. So, yeah. We're probably gonna finish these before we finish the actual story. But we'll see. Mouse on the loose. I don't know why I've looked at this one before. Huh? Huh? I, I, I swear I've done this. I swear I've done this. Hang on. No, I have in fact not done this one. I had to look back at the recording. I, I looked at it and I said, no. Nah. So. Now I actually have to do it. Uh, I don't like sliding block puzzles. Am I even, am I doing this right? I don't know, I hate these. I think I may be getting somewhere. Maybe. Wait. That... That's it. That, okay. I will take it. And now to test my thing. I was just bullshitting, but I will take it. And there we have it. Indeed. That stupid little mouse, I don't want to help you anymore. All right, the ant takes a walk. All right, here we go. A wire cube sits on the floor below. One ant sits at the point under the white arrow. Okay. Starting from its current position, the ant wants to walk on each wire in the cube without ever crossing any length of wire twice. To do this, you need to add a single wire to the cube. Okay. All right. I can figure this out. Okay, let's try A first. I believe, I believe no. Hang on. Yeah, okay, I don't, I don't think it's A. Let's try B. I don't think it's B. Let's try C. Consider this puzzle solved. It's as simple as that. It's as it. simple as that. Didn't even need to try it. All right, feeling good, Rupert and Bill. Who? I guess that's Rupert. That's Bill. Rupert and Bill are playing in the park, and they start chatting. Hey, Bill. Three years from now, you'll be twice the age I'm now, right? Says Rupert. Bill pauses for a moment, then responds. Well, get this. When I'm twice the age I am now, I'll be three times your current age. Crazy, Roy. 
and neither of them are ten yet. Three years from now, you'll be twice the age I'm now. Twice the age I am now will be three times your current age. Okay. So plus three is twice, and times two is three times. Okay, well, let's just... Neither of them are ten yet, so that narrows things down quite a bit. So let's just go one... It's not, it's not one, it's not one. It's, let's go four. Three years from now, it'll be twice the age. Four times two is eight. So then eight minus three is four. Five. So then five times two is ten. That is not three times four. Okay. So then let's try five. Neither of them are ten yet. Neither of them are ten yet. Okay. So then he has to be three. Three years from now. Twice would be six, so he's also three. And three times two is six, but that's not three times. <laughs> hmm? Okay, two. Three years from now, two times two is four. No. <laughs> okay, let's try six. Three years from now, he's 12. So then right now, he's nine. And then when he's twice, when he's 18, six times three is 18. Okay, so it's six and nine. Yeah, that seems about right. So, oh my this god, it's six and I knew that's fucking go. Huh, wonderful. And look at Bill bump that soccer ball. Alright, another one down. The tapes shake. Oh, another one of these. Okay. Same length and the same width. Stuck together at point P. If you were to cut two pieces along the dotted lines, which of the four shapes below would be formed? I don't fucking know. How do people think like this? Let's try B. Let's try let's try B. I have I have no way of figuring this out. This puzzle solved. Okay. Well, I suppose that's This one is tough to visualize in your head. Yeah, you damn right. I'll got tape with me right now to try this. I don't fucking know. 
Let's try this one. Consider this puzzle solved. Let's try this one. Consider this puzzle solved. Okay, so it's D somehow. Somehow. How does that make a square? Consider this puzzle solved. Uh, this one was dumb. A true gentleman leaves no puzzle unsolved. It almost seems impossible. Try it for yourself. No thanks. No, no thank you. Alright, the long formula. The Krabby Patty formula? Oh. Formulas like the first one are a familiar sight to students. One day, a mathematician thought up the second formula. This formula basically took all the letters in the alphabet, subtracted them from X, and then multiplied them all together. Since the formula was so long, the mathematician used dot 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 to indicate part of the formula. Soon after, he discovered that no matter what numbers he substituted for any of the letters, the formula always yielded the same answer. What is that answer? Zero. Okay, I see. I see you, you tricky man. I see you. I get it because literally right before this one would be x minus x, would which would be zero, and then you're timesing everything together, but you got a zero in there, which means it's zero. This should do the trick. You sneaky man, and you've had four inputs. Ah, wonderful. Ha ah, ah, ha ah. ha. Ah, ha ah, ah. ha ha. Okay, I liked that one. I liked that one. Alright. How many gems? Oh, look at this. Look at these savory people. Two thieves are hatching a plan. Huh? So all of the gems on display in the jewelry store, only one is real? That's yes, right. It's fourth from the top, second from the bottom, third from the right, and third from the left. That's the one we're after. Supposing that the gems are ordered in uniform rows and columns, how many gems are there in total, counting both the real one and the fakes? Okay... Fourth from the top, which means that's already four in a thing, so it's this one. Second from the bottom, which means there's like another one right there, so it's, it's this one. Third from the right. Third from the right, okay, so then we fill in all these. And third from the left, so then we fill in these. Okay, so if I've done this right, it should be... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 15... 2025. It should be that. Let's see. Consider this puzzle solved. Boya. Very nice. A true gentleman leaves no puzzle unsolved. Uh-huh. Right in the middle. Very cool. Now then, uh, who's married? Who is married? Walking around, you overhear the neighbors talking about a family that consists of a married father and mother, a son, and a daughter. Mary is certainly younger than Dan. Mary is older than Lisa. Sam is younger than Dan. Lisa and Sam aren't a couple. Of the four statements above, Two are true and two are false. 
Figure out which statements are accurate and check the boxes of the two people who are married. Well, hang on. Let me just do Dan and Mary. Let me just try that. And now to test my theory. Okay. Uh, well, I suppose you can't win them all. I'm running through a few possible answers. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Now, seeing as how this is a Professor Layton game made in like the early 2000s. I have a feeling they're not going to have gay marriage in the game. I'm I'm going to at least assume. So, I see only a few options here. Let's then try Dan and Lisa. Consider this puzzle solved. Okay. Well, I suppose that's one possibility eliminated. Yes, Leighton. I know. I I know. Okay. So let's try then Sam and Mary. Consider this puzzle solved. And there you are. A true I love order of elimination. Sam and Mary, the married couple, and see our lies while B and D are accurate. Okay. Yeah, I know the whole thing. I just didn't want to do it. Miscalculation. Mike has always been terrible at math. He's asked to multiply a certain number by 9, then add 7. But instead, he multiplies by 7 and adds 9. He so notices his error and starts to panic. When he tries to do the problem correctly, he ends up getting the same answer as when he made the mistake the first time. Okay. Well, this can be easily solved. I think. Okay, let's try this. Something... Something times 9 plus 7 equals a number. Something times 7 plus 9 equals the same number. So... Well first, let's... Um... Hmm. Something times 9 is always a huge number. So, let's just, let's just go in order. Uh, let's do 1, so 9 plus 7, wait, it's, it's, it's 1, it's, it's, it's 1, it's 1, it's 1. And now to test my theory. Okay, thank you. I did not want to do a whole bunch it. of calculations. It's, it's 1, it's, it's 1. Mike, come on bud, that's so simple. All right, three ladies. <laughs> what are the names of these three ladies? A says the woman next to me is Judy. B says I'm Ellie. C says the woman next to me is Anna. Keep track of what each lady said to help you deduce their names. There's a catch, though. While Judy is always truthful, Ellie occasionally lies, and Anna tells fibs every chance she gets. Okay, well, if C is right, then B is Anna, and she is lying that she's Ellie. And if, uh... Ellie occasionally lies that she's saying she's Judy. So then... Wait. Yeah. Yeah, it's that one. And now to test my theory. That was a very simple one. Very simple. Leaves no puzzle unsolved. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. The lions escape. This better not be a sliding block puzzle. Okay. 
A lion has escaped from the zoo. It appears that you, the zookeeper, forgot to lock the cage. The lion is so ferocious that it even scared all the other lions out of its cage. You are the only person left in the zoo. Circle the safest place to hide until help arrives. It's cage. Consider this puzzle solved. Okay. I see it was being tricky because I didn't even Gentlemen, say that as one of the one of the options. Well done. You want to hide in the escape line's cage? Since you're the zookeeper, you can go in and lock the door. Boom. I love all these simple ones. Thank you very much. Getting close to the end, but I don't know if we'll solve the rest of them now. But we'll see. Pattern recognition. Which pattern matches? Oh, man. Oh, we got a really hard version of these ones. Okay. Le left to right, inverted, and changed to black and white. Okay, so that's white. That's black. Okay, so it's not A. It's either C or B. But now I'm trying to figure out which... Okay. Okay. This is different. So then... This one is either blue or white. I think it's blue, because it's... Yeah. Yeah, so it's gotta be this one. Consider this puzzle solved. Uh? Did I click the wrong one? Uh, well, I suppose you can't win them all. I believe I may have clicked the wrong one. No. Uh, so then it's white. This should do the trick. Huh. O okay. Ah, wonderful. O okay. All right. That was on me. It, it's it's DS graphics trying to like between black and white, and it it was weird, it was weird. Suits in a row. Oh boy. Below are 16 cards. There are four cards from each suit. Diamonds, clubs, spades, and hearts. The cards are arranged in a 4x4 four four grid, and three cards have already been put down. Arrange the remaining cards so that each vertical column, horizontal row, and diagonal line of four cards contains one card from each suit. Okay. These two can switch, but I'll have to see first. Eh? Somehow I've already fucked it. Because I'm trying to get the diagonal, but... It's not counting like this as a diagonal, right? Cuz that that wouldn't that wouldn't work. Okay. 
Okay, yeah. And then yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I think, uh, yeah, I think I'm getting it. Oh, wait. God damn it. This can't be a... So this has to be a diamond, so it doesn't mess up with this line, this diagonal, or this right here. Okay. So then, this can't be a... I always forget which is club and which is spade, I think this is club. This can't be a club, so this has to be a spade, and this has to be a club. Okay, so now I think I have it right. So now... This has to be a diamond. This has to be that. And this has to be that. Okay, so then this is a heart. And then this is a diamond. Okay. We're getting there. This is a heart. This is a this. This is a that. This is a diamond. This is a heart. Let's... I think that's right. And now to test my theory. Thank you. Huh. Wonderful. I, I just had a little, a little hiccupy at the start, but once I fixed it, it was simple. Alright. We have one, two, three, four, five left. And you know what? I think I'll save those for the last Wi-Fi puzzle episode. And I'll probably put that at the end. You know, as a little bonus. But alright. With that, I'll end it there. I've been player one. And I'll see you next time. When we go back. The full sense. Bye bye.